Hi, my name is Michelle. Um, I'm just doing a few videos while I've got an NJ tube in. Uh, just to give people an idea of what it's like to, to live with an NJ tube. Um, and I've also got type 1 diabetes. So I've been living with chronic illness for nearly a decade now. Uh, but before that, um, I was uh, a massive, massive um, travel freak um, and also during. Uh, so I was a, an outback tour guide for a while. I've traveled uh, around Australia. Um, I live in London now and I travel on the weekends for like fun. And uh, I was also with type 1 diabetes, um, an international flight attendant for five years. So I've lived out of suitcases uh, quite a lot and I often get asked about traveling with chronic illness and um, just even just generally how to pack. Uh, and I'm going away for the weekend. Um, my husband and I have two nights away and uh, we're on a road trip this time. So I probably would pack slightly differently if I was going on a plane. Um, and I just thought I'd take you through uh, what I pack and how I pack uh, for going away on a road trip. So just going to turn this about. So here's your pretty standard uh, going away on a road trip kind of gear. I've got a really good all rounder handbag that I can just wear um, with anything really, daytime or evening. Got my toiletries bag here. Um, so obviously I pack this differently. If I was going on a plane, I'd just have a clear one. I wouldn't bother taking shampoo and conditioner. I'd only take one sunscreen, not a body and a, and a face. Um, I just take the one moisturizer when I'm going away because that is so much easier. And I'd probably take a smaller toothpaste. So um, toiletries, I always put my medications where my toiletries are because I'm going to do that sort of every day. And then I've just got uh, makeup in here if i was going away on a plane too to limit sort of luggage space and normally do carry on i'd only take one pair of jeans um but i'm going uh, to the seaside so we expect to do some walking and it is going to rain so i've taken two in case a pair gets muddy uh some pajamas always travel with fluffy socks i don't know if it's got anything to do with illness or um just personally for me but um, I need to keep my feet warm uh, so I always travel with them even if I'm going somewhere warm and also a reusable water bottle so that's kind of your normal gear undies and socks uh, one of these bags is great because you can just put your dirty stuff straight in and then this is my medical side so as you can see we've got um loads of gear here so let's talk about our uh, enteral feeding first um so i'm on the nj tube so i'm going away for two nights but i always pack uh, an extra night's worth of stuff uh, just in case i get delayed for any reason so i've got a third bag of feed three syringes for the trip and it's not going to take up too much more room for an extra giving set so I thought I'd just take the four in case there was a problem with one of them or if I opened it and, I don't know, dropped it somewhere unhygienic. I just reuse jars um, to carry water with me for flushing. I prefer to use um, sterile water um, or at least, you know, uh, something that's been boiled. Um... So that is for the feed. I'll take it all in a nice um, a crisper bag so that it doesn't get uh, hot. And I've got a frozen water bottle in the freezer for the morning. This here is fantastic. And I will do a video on um, this bag. So this is a little bag for feeding on the go. It's got a little window here and you pop uh, the pump so my pump's still set up on a nighttime uh, stand beside the bed because I'm going to feed with it tonight um, for anyone who has the Amica pump the screen's quite bright so I um, put an eye mask over it 
um, and I find that's really great. So the pump, you get this little window so you can see through and use it and um, it straps in here. You strap your feed bag in here and um, the giving set just pops out here protected by that. So I will do a video on one of these and using that bag. But uh, that is the way I like to feed when I'm traveling um, rather than the setup um, on the bedside table. And then we've got diabetes supplies. So I always travel with a few. Uh, I'm using these hypofixes at the moment. Uh, it used to be called Gucco Juice. It's called Lift now. Uh, it's liquid. Um, which is important for me right now because solid food is challenging. And then here in my diabetes bag, let's just go through what a type one diabetic would typically take away on holidays. Okay, and this is the contents of my diabetes bag. So, uh, as you can see, uh, type one diabetes uh, requires quite a few things. So I'll just go through um, what they are. So, starting up here, I've got um, an insulin pen that I can actually fill with the insulin I use. I can put a spare cartridge inside here. So if for any reason my insulin pump fails, I've got that. And then this is a tube of long-acting insulin that I take with me. Uh, and I've got a spare one there as well. So those are a backup in case my pump fails. Uh, and it's quite important to have that with you when you're traveling um, because the pump only has short acting insulin. So once you've been unplugged for about two hours, um, you can start to, to get in a reasonably hazardous situation. This here is a, um, an emergency injection of uh, glucagon. It's, um, Basically, if I go hypoglycemic, uh, my husband knows exactly how to use this needle uh, to help bring me back if I lose consciousness. This is a blood glucose monitor. Uh, it's spare batteries and it's cartridges. This one here is a spare blood glucose monitor, which also does ketones. Um, so if I have high blood sugars or um, in situations where I can't eat, uh, I can test those for my own safety. I am lucky enough to have a spare insulin pump. Uh, this one ran out of warranty and I got a new one, so I keep this little guy and take him with me uh, when I travel. So if I do have a problem with the pump, I can go to my old pump uh, before I need to go to the needles. These are just pre-injection swabs, so um, before I change a site with my pump um, or my CGM, I can use the alcohol wipes to sterilize that. This is a spare battery for my pump and this little guy helps me open up a little battery pack there. Uh, some insulin, very important. Uh, I use Nova Rapid which is fast acting insulin in my pump. These are just some like medications, painkillers and things like that um, and electrolytes in case I'm getting dehydrated for any reason. This is a spare CGM for me, I'm on the Dexcom G6 and I can't speak highly enough of it. I love it. And then these little guys are the, uh, the sights. So um, that little needle, it is covered with a little plastic tube. It's not quite that thick. That's what goes under your skin, stuck down by that little sticker there. Um, and then this little apparatus puts it on you. Um, and it's got a tube which plugs into this cartridge which um, you have insulin in. So that is everything a type 1 typically takes away on holidays. So it's the next day and we're just packing the car and I realized I forgot to pack uh, more tape for my face and a pair of scissors. So you always do forget something. Anyways, um, so add that to the list of things that I bring to look after the feeding tube while I'm away. So this is everything packed away. Um, I've got my diabetes stuff in here and my feeds and uh, my water bottle. And this is great for a road trip because any snacks we want. 
um, any cold drinks for my husband can go in here. This little bag's got all my syringes and giving sets and I will have to pop in there after I use it tonight. Um, this hurdle, I've taken up less than half the space. So there's plenty of room for my husband's uh, gear. And uh, this will cover both of our toiletries. Um, bar deodorants actually, which I haven't packed yet. Um, but I'll just use um, yeah, my big can because it's a road trip, so I don't need to worry about roll-on. And then, obviously, this is what I'll be wearing uh, tomorrow. So I'll not pack that in the cases. So that's how somebody with type 1 diabetes, gastroparesis, um, and being fed on an NJ tube packs for uh, a long weekend away. So, uh, yeah, it did look quite a lot when it was all spread out on the bed, but... All that diabetes gear just fit into this and um, all we've ended up with is one hodl, one backpack and an extra um, cooler bag that looks like we're just going to go on a picnic and in fact we could use it for that while we're away. Uh, yeah, so not too bad all in all. <laughs> I hope you found that useful uh, at any rate and if you are you know wanting to travel with chronic illness it can be done uh you just need to to be organized about it so uh yeah if i do end up traveling on a plane i will do another video um on how i found that especially with the bags of feed and things like that if i'm able to get them on carry on because i wouldn't want to to check any medical things um i'm sure it can be done just for luck with the doctor's letter and maybe contacting the airline in advance at any rate um yeah i hope you found that helpful and uh happy travels